Welcome to the Superior National Forest in northern Minnesota. We're in the region known as the North Shore along Lake Superior and just south of the Boundary Waters Canoe Area. My family and I got in last night, parked the cabin, and we're ready to spend the next two full days here enjoying this beautiful place. Guess who's nine months old today? So crazy. I know. I was like, there's something that happened today, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. We originally came up here to do some hiking. There were a few trails that we wanted to check out, but because of the weather, we're gonna see if we can find some things to check out that are a very short walk. Just with Olivia and everything in the rain, it's just not the most ideal situation. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm looking forward to still going on a drive though. It's so beautiful out with the rain. and So yeah, looking forward to that. But first, I'm whipping up some breakfast. I'm making just some good comfort food eggs and bacon and the last time i did this you guys a lot of you criticized the uh, crispiness or lack thereof of my bacon so i'm going to try to do it a little better this time we'll see what happens Thank you for this food and help us to have a great time and to be safe out exploring. Amen. Definitely crispy and very good. So we've got some scrambled eggs here with some pico de gallo, everything bagel seasoning and hot sauce. Before we take off in the car, I figured we should uh, check out this campground and lake a little bit. We got in last night, you know, haven't really had a chance to check it out much. Wow. So this right here is Tui Lake. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, we've got some elevation in the distance over there, which is what makes this region just so unique for Minnesota. I just love it. I think you can also see we've got an island out there in the middle of the lake. There's so many of these lakes up here. I mean, there's a lake everywhere you turn. Um, and this one, it's pretty good size, honestly. Guys, I love forests like this. It almost feels like a rainforest that you would get in the Pacific Northwest or in places in Alaska. It's just so lush and green. And I love how the moisture just clings to the branches of these pines and views like this. <laughs> Unreal.
Looks like the rain has turned into snow. Some wet snow. <laughs> Ooh. Hear an engine. What is that? Did somebody come while we were in there? Yeah! So I just heard Riley yell to me, I think. And our engine is on. Not sure what that's about. What's going on? I was just starting the car, so it's warm when we leave. Did you yell to me? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're ready to go. Oh my gosh. We're ready. So first I hear a car engine and I'm thinking, oh, did somebody come or like is someone on the road? And I hear Jack. Uh, <laughs> I was just like, what is going on? I probably, I probably shouldn't have um, had the tone that I had when I was calling your name. Like it was yeah. urgent. Definitely yeah. wasn't urgent. All right. So I take it this means you guys are ready to go. You ready? You ready to sightsee? She's ready. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, so the plan right now is to head down towards Lake Superior, but we're gonna do so in kind of a, um, a more adventurous way. We're gonna check out the Temperance River first, see what that looks like, and then from there, see if we can find some other little hikes or places to stop off that are close to the road. It is so pretty out right now just seeing the rain and the snow just falling down. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, there's mud right there. That's okay. This would have been a cool spot for the cabin. Got the river right down there. Oh, this would be so pretty during the summertime. Seriously. Too. This would be a perfect spot. You know this river is probably raging in the summertime and spring. So up here in the North Shore in the winter time, these rivers freeze over and they turn into trails for cross country skiing or snowshoeing, but mainly skiing. And what makes that so awesome is the fact that there are tons of waterfalls up here and they turn into these magnificent ice features in the winter time. And what's really cool about that is you're able to experience a waterfall in a completely new way. And it makes coming up here uh, in the winter time a completely different experience. So I um, deleted my Instagram, all social media actually. Right now, I would probably be scrolling on my phone or taking pictures or thinking what pictures should I put on my Instagram? Whereas right now, I'm just focused on the present, the here and the now, so it's really great. I'm able to just enjoy my time more with you, so yeah. That's great, I'm really proud of you too. Thank you. All right guys, on to the next stop. Morning. Road width varies for the next 10 miles. So these are logging roads traditionally up here. That's why it says heavy truck traffic because you're gonna have logging crews coming up through here and uh, sometimes there's a lot of equipment. But what makes that really cool as well is the fact that these roads go into places where normally there might not be a road. So beautiful. Wow. They're like hauntingly beautiful. They are, wow, gorgeous. So what's really cool, you guys, is there's this app called Venza Maps, and you can download maps that are used completely via your GPS. So as you can see, we just came from the Temperance River there, and we're headed up this road, and we're almost to Honeymoon Mountain. It's a really great app to have if you spend a lot of time in places where there is no service because you're able to always have a sense of where you're at. All right, guys, this is the road up to Honeymoon Mountain. I was asking Jack, why do they call it Honeymoon Mountain? Oh. Uh, we're gonna have to look that up when we get into town. Whoa! Ew, what is that? That's creepy. Wow. I don't think we're in the right spot. We are. We absolutely are. Why do they call this honeymoon mountain? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, obviously this is a communications tower of some sort, but it looks like a dungeon. <laughs> wow, honeymoon mountain. <laughs> Sweetie, would you want to have our honeymoon, a second honeymoon here? No. <laughs> no. <sighs> 
This is a massive tower. Holy moly. Definitely a creepy little facility. <laughs> Looks like some of the wall is falling out. Some barbed wire. Not gonna lie, Honeymoon Mountain is not what I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be like some beautiful overlook and we're gonna be like, oh yeah, wow. Still, this is pretty cool. <sighs> well, on to the next site. Let's see what we're gonna see next. We're gonna come to the Poplar River. That should be cool. Goodbye, Honeymoon Mountain. Oh, paradise. It's all about perspective, you know? <laughs> Poplar River. Ooh, there she wow, be. Wow, it's running. Yeah. Wow. How cold do you think the water is? It's at freezing, I'm sure. Very, very cold. So pretty. I just love how when you're up in this area, you can just drive around and see river after river, lake after lake. It's truly one of a kind. It's a beautiful place. All right, so we just got onto a bigger road and we're headed straight down towards Lake Superior. So we're gonna check that out, hit the beach. All right, kiddo, you ready to see Lake Superior? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Beautiful. This seriously is like the ocean. It's amazing. Not only can you not see across it, but like in front of us, it almost looks like these are tide pools. <laughs> So not a lot of people know this, but you can go surfing on Lake Superior and all of the Great Lakes for that matter. It takes the right conditions. There's gotta be a lot of wind. And usually it's in the winter time when the temperatures are either at zero or below zero, making it something that is not for the faint of heart. You gotta be tough. You gotta have the right gear. And you certainly have to have a lot of skill to go out and do that because the Great Lakes can be dangerous, especially when there are storm conditions. I learned to surf when I lived in California for 10 years, and uh, it's certainly on my bucket list to get out there surfing one day. And it's even cooler to think that Jack has scuba dived inside Lake Superior to a shipwreck. Really cool. So, I don't know, I'm just blown away by it. And I think my favorite feature of Lake Superior is the pine trees up against it. Yeah. Because it looks like a vast, huge ocean with pines along the side, when really it's a lake. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. You ready for some lunch? Oh yeah. All right. So hungry. This was awesome, but uh, we're gonna head to Grand Marais, which is a town on the North Shore here. We're gonna get a bite to eat, maybe a brew, and uh, then I think we'll head back to the cabin. You want some toys? It's a nose. Do, 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 do. It's a nose. Boop. <laughs> it's a nose. It's a nose. Cheers. Was nice. I feel much better after eating. Good. I'm getting a little hangry. All right, we'll see you back at the cabin.
It's time for someone to eat. You hungry? Are you hungry? So the last time you guys saw Olivia eat was months ago. She was eating carrots and um, she wasn't a big fan. But now she really <laughs> likes food. So we're going to give her her redemption here. a good bite. <laughs> so this is what we seals off our bedroom <laughs> and then we get to hang out for a couple more hours. surprise this morning. We woke up to snow and it's absolutely beautiful. The snow has covered everything out there. It's nice and warm in here by the fire. What more could you want? Oh, oh do you love so Ellie? Ellie's a good dog, isn't she? So the plan for this morning is to kind of hang around here for a little while uh, before heading out to go for a hike. Riley is on the fence. She's trying to decide if she's going to come with. Um, as of now, I think the conditions are perfectly fine to take Olivia, but still, we'll see. I'll probably just go into town and find like a cute little coffee shop and just have some warm cup of joe and hang out. But either way, it's going to be a really fun day. What up? Wow. 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 Ellie, what do you think? Yeah! One of the things that's been so cool about having our daughter is just seeing her experience things for the first time. Olivia just feeling the snow falling on her face and looking around and feeling things, you know, like touching the pine needles. It's super cool. This is what it's all about. Like being out here with the snow falling, having our warm cabin, our wood stove. We got our girl out here. We got, I got all my girls out here. Life is good.
there's something really special about being the only people out here. Like yesterday when we were driving around, we didn't see any cars until we got into town. And so to think that like you can look out into this wilderness that's in front of us and know that like we're the only ones here, it's pretty cool. Well, the temperature has risen and uh, our snow has turned into freezing rain again. Rye and Olivia are headed into town. Ellie and I are gonna do this hike. I'm prepared for it. Got my raincoat and my pack, but would love to not need it. So we'll see what happens once we get down there. Come on, El. I'll see you in a little bit. I love you. Poor thing. Rye's really nervous about driving down this road. She'll be fine though. It's it's not very far and um, it's not that slippery if you go slow, so. All right, so this is definitely true. Where we are headed, there are quite a few drop-offs and sheer cliffs because of the fog, especially, and the icy conditions. We're gonna wanna be careful. Okay, so we are off of the Superior Hiking Trail, which is a long distance trail up here in the North Shore. It goes all over this region, in fact, We've hiked on this when we were way further north um, earlier this summer, and uh, it's amazing to see the same trail all the way down here. All right, so we have topped off. And this is where the cliff sides really start to pop up too. Oh man, the peak is completely socked in. So normally out here you would see a big mountain or hill, whatever your definition is, but up here they're called mountains. And off this way I believe is uh, Lake Superior, it just like is an ocean view. Well, we'll kind of circle around the peak up here and see if some of this fog starts to dissipate. down there. It's a sheer cliff all the way to the bottom. Oh man, well, we officially circled the entire peak. So we went that way, went all the way around, pop out this way, and this is the trail down. <laughs> Have you finished? Well, I'm about to start heading down. All right, sounds good. All right, see you in a bit. See you soon. Love you. All right, love you, love you, bye. All right, we made it back. Well done, Al. Well done. Ellie, come on. Good dog.
Dear God, thank you for a great day, a great hike. Keep us safe overnight. Amen. Little burrito bowl. Looks good. Smells good. Let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah. Bomb. You'd think these get old after a while, but they really do not. Mmm. Good morning. We didn't do as much filming last night because uh, we were just so exhausted after that hike and making dinner. Just kind of hung out for a little bit and, and then uh, we put Olivia to bed and Riley and I just kind of watched a movie and, and hung out. And now unfortunately it's time to go, but man, what a great trip this was. It was so good for so many reasons. Just number one, having the whole family out was just so needed. You know, lately I've been taking a lot of solo trips, but um, having them out here is just so much better. It's so much more fun and, and meaningful. This was definitely the best cabin trip in a while with our daughter. Um, I think it's because she's a little older, so she <laughs> slept through the night and she didn't cry as much in the car. Yeah, it was a great overall time and we had a blast. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along. Your support means the world to us, every one of you. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this without you, so thank you so much for watching these videos, for commenting and subscribing to our channel. Uh, we do not take it for granted, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I wanna thank our patrons for uh, their donations. It means the world. We're just, yeah, again, so humbled to have so many people who enjoy watching these videos and coming along on these adventures. So thank you so much. Also, if you're watching this the day it comes out, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and uh, we will see you on the next one.